Hey guys, you're welcome back again to my channel today, MJ Fonzen. This yummy turkey stew was made with love, especially for this season. You can make this for your family and loved ones. And this is so delicious. We we'll ate it with rice. You can actually eat it with any carbohydrate of your choice. But of course, trust me, eating this turkey stew with rice is the best. So let's get started into the video. <music> cleaning the turkey to be so clean i seasoned it with curry powder thyme salt seasoning powder ginger and garlic powder and i added water to cook till it's soft i usually love my turkey to be so tender and easy to eat of course so you can see this turkey from the color you can see i added curry powder generous quantity or amount of curry powder and you can add this ingredient according to the quantity of turkey you are using or chicken then i parboiled my rice i'm using basmati rice for this recipe you can use jasmine rice or any type of rice you have so after cooking this turkey it's tough and as you can see it's tender it's time to fry with my vegetable oil so i added this vegetable oil to the pan and added onion bulb of course you know this add a lot of flavor to this turkey and it makes it so yummy and the aroma oh my god so as soon as the oil is hot, of course I added the turkey into the pan. This turkey is well cooked as you can see and it's soft so I only needed to fry it till it's golden brown. I really don't want to you know, fry it for so long or make it so dry. I just wanted it to fry till it's golden brown and yeah, that will do. You can actually fry it any way you want or you can use the oven, you can grill or roast whatever way you choose but frying it actually add different taste and flavor trust me this frying method i really love it which is not compulsory but then that is just my opinion you can actually use the oven method i've done that before with the oven i grilled it and also i can tell you this fry method tastes really different for this turkey stew so after that i sieved off the oil then i added onion to the pan i used one onion bulb for this i chopped the onion and added to the hot oil as you can see i just wanted this stew to really be so delicious so i stirred and added the tin tomato this derica tin tomato i just added two tablespoons of derica tin tomatoes so it's just like um this tomato paste is not the fresh one of course you needed to add the fresh one and this is the fresh tomato blend and pepper what i mean by that is the fresh tomato and the fresh pepper all blended together and i added it at this point as you can see And I added curry powder and also I added thyme. You guys know adding curry powder and thyme makes this taste really different and the aroma alone is so gosh, it's so nice. And yeah, I added this garlic and ginger powder, which is not compulsory, but this garlic and ginger powder added just a little bit. And of course, it tastes really well in this turkey stew. And I mixed thoroughly and I fried for a couple of minutes. As you can see, my rice is already on fire and I already washed it. And I added salt to cook till it's soft because this stew, I'll be eating this turkey stew with this rice. And I told you guys, this is prepared turkey stew i already blended the pepper the red bell pepper together with the fresh tomato which is currently frying but of course i needed to fry for a couple of minutes till the sour taste is all out before we cook further as you can see after some minutes you can look into the pan and you'll see the quantity has reduced and everything is looking really good it's well coming up and this is the point where we have to add other ingredients like the scotch bonnet pepper the maggi cubes and other you know important ingredient as you can see looking at it you see that it's well fried so i added the one scotch bonnet pepper i just added one scotch bonnet pepper because this scotch bonnet pepper is really hot and spicy you can actually add more if you really want your turkey stew to be really really spicy and after that i added the maggi cubes I just added two maggi cubes you know because i'll be using the stock from the turkey to cook this and i seasoned the turkey so well that the stock is so so yummy after 
after that i added salt salt is very important but you should be very careful not to over add it so just add teaspoon of salt note i said the teaspoon not the tablespoon and after that i added the fried turkey this fried turkey i usually add it at this point because you know adding it at this point makes it really tasty more than it is i just added it into the pan and mixed thoroughly and everything is still hot and you know frying i mixed thoroughly making sure nothing gets burned while this sauce marinate together with the turkey adding more flavor and you know the juicy taste everything is just still frying after adding all this turkey to the pan and mixing it thoroughly of course the next thing is to add the stock from the turkey and this stock from the turkey is so so yummy as you can see from the color you will see i seasoned this turkey really well which was the reason i added only two maggi cubes I mix thoroughly, mixing thoroughly, making sure everything is in order. What I mean by that is making sure everything mixes well and you know, not some part of it being different. So I mix thoroughly. After mixing everything, I allowed it to you know cook further for a couple of minutes because I really needed everything to you know marry each other, kiss together and you know all the remaining flavors or ingredients that is hiding from one corner to another I really needed everything to pop out and mingle with each other, mix well so everything combined together and you, you know what I mean so I just allowed it to be on the heat for a few minutes after that of course looking at it you should see this turkey stew is well fried and well cooked and everything is so spicy it has no sour, no sour taste. Everything is well fried. I'm eating this with rice. Like I said, my rice is ready. This basmati rice is just the best for me. I love basmati rice, you know, because it's just easier to cook. Apart from that, it doesn't get too soft. No matter the quantity of what I put, you know, even if you make some mistake and put in, and you put like more water, it's not really going to be soggy. It's just just still going to be good. I just usually use this plate to, you know, <laughs> to put the rice you guys should know this video or plate i'm designing is just for my instagram you can follow us on instagram at mj fun zone i post some recipes and some methods there as well after posting this on instagram i actually ate times five of this plate so do not think this is actually what i ate i ate more than this so so delicious and i enjoyed it so you guys should try this recipe out this season and thank me later i love you guys bye Subscribe!